Hey, it's Joe Walsh here with Peghead Nation, and today I want to tell you about my mandolin. This is a Gilchrist uh, mandolin, an A model, and it's one that I found uh, not that far away from my home in Portland, Maine. So I live in Portland, and I found this on the wall at a shop in Freeport, Maine, about uh, 20 minutes north of me, and I, I played it for about 10, or sec 10 seconds or so, 10 or 15 seconds, and, and realized I needed to put it down because uh, I didn't have any money at the moment and, and after a couple of years I saved up some bread and and, uh, and still had this mandolin in my mind and managed to find it. Uh, it had been sold and then, and then it was for sale again and I, I found it on the wall uh, in Nashville and had them mail it up to me and I had you know 24 hours to, to try it out and uh, uh, I had already sent up the money so here it was at my house to try it out for a, a for Played it feverishly for that day, and and then uh, had to figure out whether I was going to keep it. And I actually packed it up in a box and, and brought it to the post office because it was uh, a lot of money. And I went off to teach my lessons, and I kind of freaked out, and I, I I ran out of the lessons and, and and went back to the post office and begged them to give me my box back, and 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 um, haven't parted with this guy since. It's uh, been my companion on the road and, and uh, in recording sessions for about the last three or four years and uh, it's been a great uh, musical partner I like to uh, I like to use Diodario strings the medium set um, I, I used to use elixirs on previous mandolins but with this one I just felt like they were the right ones they they're the only ones that sound right with this mandolin and I'm a big fan of the blue chip uh, picks. I use a, a blue chip 50. I've had other picks, but this one, uh, it really doesn't change. You know, I've played probably this pick literally for the last year or two, and it's uh, changed so minimally uh, that I we have a good relationship going, and, and uh, uh, I'm a big fan of these blue chip picks. I also, um, you might not be able to see it from that angle, but if I turn my mandolin around, um, I've got this thing, I think it's called a tone guard. I don't really like the way it looks, but uh, I can't argue with the way it sounds. It, it, this guy keeps the mandolin off of my uh, stomach, and it really uh, gives me a lot more volume. Allows the back to uh, to vibrate, and, and it's not dulled by being up against my stomach. I also have this, uh, uh, this strap, just so I have a little bit of uh, something for that Miami element uh, in my playing. And uh, that's my gear scene right now. Now, uh, uh, when I'm out on the road, uh, so often I'm asked, why do you play an A? Uh, why, don't, why don't you have an F? And I've had F-style mandolins, and, and I certainly like them. Uh, I just happen to like this, the way this one sounds. It, I think it's a, it's a beautiful mandolin that seems to uh, complement my style uh, in a way that I like. Uh, so I think F sound good. I think A sound good. I just think this particular mandolin is, is a great mandolin. And maybe I'll, I'll, I'll play us out with that, that same whiskey before breakfast.